Zoho campaigns tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Zoho campaigns. So what exactly are Zoho campaigns and how can you get started? Well, we all know email marketing is a very essential part of every business right now, and you can elevate your marketing with unified emails and SMS marketing using Zoho campaigns. Zoho has so many amazing tools like Zoho CRM and many other Zoho tools, but Zoho campaigns definitely does take the cake. Because Zoho campaigns allows us to integrate both our email as well as SMS marketing together, we are able to use some amazing tools to build our emails as well as used advanced email automations, drag and drop workflows, and we have contact path tracing as well. So to get started with Zoho campaigns, simply head on over to zoho.com slash campaigns. Once you do that, you're going to sign up and this is completely free. You don't have to pay for it. We are going to be discussing pricing at the end of this video. However, simply go into campaigns and sign up to create your account. We're going to click on access Zoho campaigns because I already do have a Zoho account, but it's not a Zoho campaigns account. So I'm going to agree to this. And once we do that, we're going to be led on to our basic sign up. So first off, you're going to be choosing your role in the company as well as your phone number. And then you're going to click on next step. Then you're going to enter your company profile. So it's called Spencer. This is the address. And then we're going to enter the state as well as the city and then the zip or postal code. From there, we're going to tell about our business. So the current size of our contact list, as well as the specific industry that we are in. So we are in the retail industry and we're going to click on next step. Next step is free migration support. This is optional. So if you are already using any uh, email marketing tool, you can migrate your data from that to Zoho. We're going to skip and continue. And just like that, our Zoho campaign setup has been completed and we can move on towards our next step. Now, our next step is going to be to connect our store because I have listed my website or my Zoho account as a retail store. So if you're using any e-commerce platform, you want to add that. We're going to link to our Shopify store. To do this, I'm going to open up Shopify in a new tab on the same window. And we are going to copy our Shopify store URL like this. Then I'm going to go back into Zoho campaigns. We can create a private app to get the Zoho keys. You have a API key, you have a API secret code, and then you have the API token access. So if you want to configure custom fields, you can just directly do this under apps, go into settings. You can go into apps and sales channels, Shopify app store, search for Zoho campaigns. This just makes it a very quick and easy setup. So Zoho campaigns. And just like that, we have the Zoho integration. And this is by Imminent Software. So you can just download that. And your basic process is going to be pretty much the same, no matter whatever store you're adding from. Now from here, you can add your contacts. If you don't have them, you can just proceed and add them manually. Then the next step is to create your first campaign, automate your user journey and invite your team. So we're going to directly go into contacts on the left. And once you click on contacts on the left, you can click on all contacts. When you click on all contacts, this will just show you some of the sample contacts. So you can click on add new on the top right and you have three options. You can sync, import or add multiple contacts. We're going to click on multiple contacts and from here I can enter their email. I'm just going to add myself and I can enter the first name, last name. So let's say it's Kate. Katie, and then the company name, their phone number, whatever the contact information is. Then you can add the contacts to certain mailing lists when you're adding them. You can choose the subscription type. So if they've subscribed to your marketing emails, unsubscribed, or if they've only subscribed to non-marketing content. Then you can override the subscription type for existing contacts and you're going to verify that these contacts have given consent 
to receive emails from relevant to my products. Once done, you will see a total count of your subscribers. Now under contacts, you can see you have tags, scoring, sign up forms, and segments. So segmentation allows you to base your contacts or categorize them into different lists based upon certain behavior that they are exhibiting. You can click on segment over here and build a segment based upon a criteria. Now, criteria-based segmentation is different from regular lists because a contact needs to actually display certain behavior to actually have to be added into a segment. If they no longer display that behavior, they are not going to be added into that segment, so it would automatically remove them. Let's say this is going to be based upon e-commerce, and let's say the average amount spent is equal to or less Less than I wanted to say greater than let's say 5,000 and these are going to be my VIP customers because they've spent more than 5,000 and just like that you can have you know multiple different segments now if I go into contact and click on contact tags tags can just be um, static so it's not automatically going to be updated let's say I want to add a tag for customers that are from my cocoa business so maybe I am using Zoho for two of my primary um, things so let's say I'm selling two things one is the cocoa business or cocoa brand label items and then I have my other brand label and I can mark it under a different tag once you've added your contacts, you can go into campaigns, click on email campaigns and start building your emails. To do that, we're going to click on create campaign and we can use different types of templates. So regular email, A-B e testing, RSS, Soho meeting, surveys, SurveyMonkey webinar and more. We're going to build a regular email, so we're going to directly move on and enter our campaign name. This is going to be my welcome email campaign and we're going to save and proceed from here you're going to add the subject line the subject line is going to appear in the contacts inbox so it needs to be something that catches their eye so welcome to spencer get exclusive vip or exclusive welcome coupon and the pre-header is going to be get your first order on 50 percent off and i'm just going to click on save and then i can add the sender details so i can select the sender name as well as how i want my you know store to look like my email address to look like based upon a custom field or the same sender for all and i'm just going to save this with the basic info then from here i can proceed on to adding the recipients so i'm going to just select a list and i only have one sample list that we have created now i can click on create content and i have two options for building content pre-designed templates or basic templates or i can use html code plain text import or recently sent i'm gonna go with a pre designed template and we have welcome templates holiday seasonal templates deals and offer thank you sales and promo so we have a bunch of different templates and i'm just gonna go with this one because it's pink and i really like it and once i do that i have a very intuitive drag and drop editor so welcome to spencer like this your clothing is about to be elevated and i want to change the link to my shopify store so i'm going to click on the button instead of the button saying learn more it's going to say shop now and let's say whatever my store name is i'm going to add that and click on done and if i want to add columns i can drag and drop like this and add them once i do that i can click hold and move them wherever i want then i can click on preview and test and start sending out my campaigns using zoho so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe